Hello and welcome again to another in the MyTech series. This one's a little different. You may think that this is actually a guide, but it's not a guide. It's just uh, an explanation of what I have done myself. I don't expect anybody to follow my example, and if you do, it is entirely uh, on your own backs. This could result in you ruining your particular tablet, if you have this type of tablet or any tablet that you try it on. And uh, I take no responsibility for you following this as a guide. It is not a guide, it's just a simple explanation of what I have done myself. Well, just to explain then, last night actually, I picked up my old Nook tablet. Now, I absolutely love this tablet. I loved it when it came out and I still like it now. It's one of the thinnest tablets we were around at the time. It's also got a 1080p display, which is unbelievably clear. It was built for readability. The new ones are Quad HD now, but this was amazing at the time. It's very light. And the battery on this is incredible. I've got to say, this has been on the shelf for nearly three months, as I've got a Windows tablet now, which I use for work. And I picked it up. It hasn't been touched. It's just been sat there. And I pressed the power button, and lo and behold, it switched on. Still with 25% of charge left in it. I don't think there's any tablet or phone anywhere today that would actually be able to do that. The screen is perfect. You may see a little uh, scratches there, but they're actually on the screen protector there. I always put a protector on. So I absolutely adore this tablet. It's a brilliant little tablet, and uh, it was just a shame, really. It was absolutely ruined by the Nook software that was put on it. The actual home screen and everything was abysmal. It was probably the worst home screen that you could possibly get, and I think that's what really killed it. At the end of the day, people just didn't like using it. It was awful. If it had a proper Android home screen launcher on it, I think it would have took off a lot, lot quicker. But as it was, it just actually got dumped. They left it and they haven't updated it. So I thought, well, what can I do with this? And I was, had a little read around and discovered that it can be installed with Cyanogen uh, mode, which is a form of Android and it would be 4.4, which is a lot newer than the system that was on there. And I knew that we could do this in the past, but I thought it was the only way to do it was actually to put it on a micro SD card, plug it in, and then actually run it from the micro SD card itself. But now apparently you can actually flash it straight onto the Nook. So, I followed the instructions, and basically it was very, very easy, although sometimes the instructions made it seem extremely difficult. I basically just got a few files. SD, micro SD card, just a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. An adapter, so I can plug it into my USB port and then some software off the net itself. I've put links and descriptions of what I used in the description box below. So, I downloaded the software. First of all, it was some software to flash onto bootloader to actually load, load? load the main operating system in, and then the Google Apps, and then the operating system itself. So I put the micro SD card into the computer, plugged it in, Put the software onto it, as in the description before, placing the new firmware or software that runs the thing onto the SD card, and also the Google Apps, and then unpacking the loader, the piece of software that actually loads it onto the tablet on there as well. So I had to unzip that and put it on separately, uh, and it all just went in the root of the SD card anyway. So you ended up with two zip files and four, five open files, which were the actual loader part of it that brings it into the system, loads it into the tablet, and gives you the ability to flash it. So I installed that. Now, I had a little bit of a difficulty in that to be able to do this, you have to set the SD card to what's called active state. Now active means that it's ready to be used as a main drive, basically a boot drive. Uh, and it's very difficult in Windows to do this. You can do it in Linux, I know, but in Windows, it, 
was a little bit tricky because the Windows Hard Drive Manager, which is part of the Windows software, would do it for me. I could actually set it to active, but it would have mean setting all my other drives to inactive, which I didn't want. So I found a workaround for this in using the command prompt. Now, if you don't know what the command prompt is, go away, have a read about it and come back because it's not uh, the safest thing to use if you type in the wrong command. Again, I emphasize to you, if you ever do this, it's at your own risk. I will not be held responsible because it is a high risk to do on any phone or tablet. I used the command prompt to actually set this to active. And once it was set to active, I was ready to take it out and put it into the nook. Unfortunately, when I first tried this, I used the little icon you get in your tray, your system tray, to safely un unlock the SD card and unplug it from the USB, but that set it back to inactive. So what I had to do was set it active again, and then when it was ready, I actually just pulled out the micro SD card from the adapter and it worked. I put it into the nook. This is the actual SD card that I used. And powered on. Now, I'll just power this off. Now, once it's loaded, you'll see that the, you'll get a little text screen comes up with various choices on it. Now, I don't know if you can see this very well. But I'm going to try and zoom in as best I can. So you have the choices there. You can either reboot, install a zip file, wipe, data factory reset, wipe the cache, backup and restore, and mount the storage. Now the first thing you do is to use the volume key on the side here to scroll down, to backup and restore, and then you use the nook key here to select it. So that's the OK button basically. Backup and restore done. That completes in about three or four minutes and everything is backed up onto the SD card. Then you use the power button as a back button and you come back to this menu. And the next thing you do is the data factory reset. So again, use the volume button, make sure you select the right one. And again, use the nook button as the OK. Once the factory reset is done, again, use the uh, on-off button to come back to this menu. And then you can start installing from the zip files. So you install from zip file, press OK. And then you can choose the zip file itself. Now there are two here mentioned. One is SD card and one is external SD card. Now we're looking for the external. So we go to the external SD card. And then we can choose the files that we want. Now, this one here, Ovation, is the one for the NUC HD Plus. And I've got to emphasize again, this is the HD Plus, not the HD. So there are different files for the HD to the HD Plus. So the Ovation file is for the HD Plus. So choose that, press the NUC button again as the OK button, and it'll install that. It doesn't take very long. After that's done, you come back to this menu again, and then you install the, the Google Apps, uh, which includes Gmail, Google Play, and all the rest. Again, for the last time, press that Nook button, and that's installed. Then you use the On-Off button again to navigate back to the very start. And the first one there, Reboot System Now. Now, before you reboot, 
One of the awkward things about the Nook HD Plus is this silly plastic cover that covers the micro SD slot. Make sure that's open because you want to take out the SD card before it reboots. We choose yes, reboot now. Now I know I didn't quite get the card out in time there, so all I'll do is just hold the start button down. It goes off. And as you can see, it is all now on the system. I have done this previously, of course. And there we go, all on the system. I'll just open it. And it is really, really fast. Your app draw. Now, this is already set up. If you've got a mobile phone, which is an Android phone or an Android tablet, you'll know what the setup process is. It's exactly the same when you set this up. I just go into settings and you can see all the various settings there. If you know the Nook HD Plus, you'll know how much of an improvement this is already on the original one. You've got notifications and the settings menu, quick settings menu. And also, you've got Google now. So again, ideal. So there you go. That's a little my tech to my renewed Nook HD+. Thank you for watching.